local state senator says the Springfield Finance Control Board's executive director has to go. And he says he has paperwork to prove he had a lot to do with the city losing big in that Merrill Lynch deal. State Senator Stephen Bonaconti says these documents prove Springfield Finance Control Board Executive Director Stephen Lazowskis played a major role in the city losing close to $14 million invested with Merrill Lynch. Last summer, City Treasurer Salvador Calvinis noticed a Merrill Lynch account had lost $2.6 million in value. That's when he decided to transfer $55 million of state local aid money into a UBS account. Senator Bonaconti claims when Lazowskis got wind of the UBS deal, he asked to transfer that money into a Merrill Lynch fund. It was later uncovered Lazowskis had a personal connection to the Merrill Lynch investor. And so now you have a person who has personal connections to Merrill Lynch, who, well, while it's readily apparent that that investment is going down the chute, continues to put more money in with Merrill Lynch and never informs the control board of the problems that are going on. Until December, when the city discovered it had lost nearly $14 million. One local banker tells 22 News that money should never have been invested in a risky fund. Most of the accounts need to be, I believe, very conservative. So, um, and, and that's why they're actually, I think, moved it to um, kind of a, an account that the, that the state kind of mandates that you have. So you have to be very conservative. It's, it's the taxpayer's money. It's money that you need to have available when you need it. Fortunately, Merrill Lynch reimbursed the money Springfield lost, but Senator Bonaconti hopes that's not the end of it. Now Senator Bonaconti hopes the Attorney General and Secretary of State will use these documents to continue their investigation. Also, earlier this week, the city treasurer, Salvador Calvinis, took a medical leave of absence. Now we have scanned the entire investment document, which is available on our website at WWLP.com.